Are we alone in the universe? This is an age-old question in human history. Every time we look up to the sky and think, if life exists beyond Earth. But before finding life outside our planet, we must understand what makes our planet Earth habitable. Our solar system is comfortably nestled in a safe harbor between major spiral arms, and its nearly circular orbit helps it avoid the galaxy's perilous inner regions. There are relatively few stars near the Sun, reducing risks to Earth from gravitational tugs gamma ray bursts, or collapsing stars called supernova. Stars more massive than the Sun burn hotter and usually don't live long enough for planets to develop life. Less massive younger stars are often unstable, and are prone to blasting their planets with bursts of radiation. Earth orbits in the so-called Goldilocks zone, where the planets receive enough energy to allow water to exist as a liquid on its surface. Too far, and the vital compound stays locked up as ice. Too close, and the water would rapidly evaporate into the atmosphere. The interstellar cloud of gas and dust that gave rise to Earth contained enough radioactive elements to power a churning core for billions of years. This creates a magnetic field that protects the planet from dangers like solar flares. Earth is tilted with respect to the Sun, and teeters as it spins. This tiny wobble can shift the climate from hot to icy every 41,000 years, and might vary more without the Moon's stabilizing pole. Ancient plant-like organisms in the oceans added oxygen to the atmosphere and created a high-altitude layer of ozone that shielded early land species from lethal radiation. Earth is well-equipped as a planet and ideally placed in our solar system and galaxy to support life as we know it. The product of some 4.6 billion years of cosmic construction, our planet is flush with life thanks to a fortuitous set of conditions. Four billion years ago, the Martian surface was apparently quite habitable, featuring rivers, lakes and even a deep ocean. Indeed, some astrobiologists view ancient Mars as an even better cradle for life than Earth was, and they suspect that life on our planet may have come here long ago aboard Mars rocks blasted into space by a powerful impact. Things changed when Mars lost its global magnetic field, Charged particles streaming from the sun were then free to strip away the once thick Martian atmosphere, and strip it they did. This process had transformed Mars into the cold, dry world we know today. Scientists don't expect to find living things currently thriving on Mars. Instead, they are looking for signs of life that existed long ago, when Mars was warmer and covered with water. Life as we know it seems to have three main requirements liquid water, the appropriate chemical elements, and an energy source. Astrobiologists believe Europa has abundant water and the right chemical elements. But an energy source on Europa has been difficult to confirm. On Earth, life forms have been found thriving near subterranean volcanoes, deep-sea vents and other extreme environments. These extremophile life forms give scientists clues about how life may be able to survive beneath Europa's ice shell. For centuries, planets beyond our solar system called exoplanets existed only in theory and science fiction. It seemed nearly impossible to detect planets light years away, since the relatively tiny worlds would appear billions of times fainter than their parent stars. Astronomers have confirmed more than 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars, with at least 1,000 more awaiting confirmation. They found the first two exoplanets orbiting a pulsar in 1992. They confirmed the first exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star in 1995. 
the true discoveries came with advancing technology, a relatively recent development. As far as the latest discovery we were able to take the first ever direct image of the exoplanets. Both planets in the system were discovered by an international team of scientists led by Alexander J. Bone of Leiden University in the Netherlands. They used the SPHERE instrument on the Very Large Telescope VLT, at the European Southern Observatory in Chile to observe the star and its planets in February 2020. Since the beginning of civilization, humanity has wondered whether we are alone in the universe. As we have explored our solar system and beyond, which has helped us to develop increasingly sophisticated tools to address this fundamental question, technology has been advancing with each passing day. Now, we are not far away from exploring our enormous universe. Hey, I am Miss Keen. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And for latest update hit the bell icon. Until then keep exploring.